All right, y'all. So another day, a new video. As y'all currently see, we are at Pack a Punch Performance because we got to get something done that has needed to get done for the longest. So um, he back there working on that. But before we even go back there, we are going to talk about something real quick. Y'all, right, so check this out. Now we have posted this video 18 hours ago, and it's literally going insane. I don't know if it's because it has a girl in it or. If it's like OnlyFans in a title, whatever it was, but this video has literally been going crazy. And uh, it is actually number one out of 10 for the last 10 videos. So if you hear from that video, I appreciate you for coming and sticking back and subscribing to everything. Anyways, enough with that talk. We're going to come back here and see what's going on. So y'all see how the tail lights are like bright red. Y'all been on my, you know what I'm saying? On me, on me, I can't say too much because YouTube be trying to take the money for cussing in like the, the, the first a couple minutes. But y'all been on me telling me tail light tent, tail light tent. So my guy, Vladi, told me to pull through and told me to get my tail lights tinted. So we actually doing that right now. Don't mind the mess in the trunk. It's a trunk. So it, this ain't no fancy V8 sports car or nothing like that. I got tools in there. Y'all, I, I work on my car. Ain't that right, Lottie? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh my god, but yeah, it'd be all right. It's a little too. So, boom, he already got this one started. He's measuring that right now. And what is that, like 5% tent? Yeah, 5%. So, boom, we're gonna do this dark one. As go. Dark as we can go. So, it is definitely gonna transform the back because this has been something that's been definitely on the list. It's just been like uh, me getting around to it. So, I'm not even gonna wash the car because, like, it's wet and rainy outside like it's wet from still to snow all right now y'all check this out i bumped into a subscriber a little while ago i don't know if the guy still watched my videos but he told me he was tired of seeing my fog lights look as bad as they did i'm gonna show y'all in one second so i guess he had ended up buying himself a spare pair and and just having them in his car so he ended up giving it to me when i seen him out in public i didn't get it on video because uh i don't know this was like so long ago so we have two brand new fog lights. So I can get this out the package. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right here, we're gonna get these put on one day. Hopefully someday soon. Cause if y'all know, like one is like cloudy like that, and I could just buy some stuff from AutoZone and get that fixed. But I'd rather get some new ones. So we already got some ones. I'd rather just get that one put in. So this one is kind of like that. So y'all, momentarily we will be getting that installed. It's only going to take maybe about five or six minutes, if that, because only problem that is wrong with the fog lights, they are not connected to the wiring harness. So, which means we're going to put them in just for the look and not for the use. So, I would they be looking like that because I try to like buy the wire harness for the fog light, but I cannot find it on like eBay or Amazon or nothing like that. So, I guess it is what it is with that. It's no big. You had a car for two years, still ain't never get it fixed. Never really cared about it. So we're gonna do that pretty soon. So if you are still watching my channel, shout out to you, bro. Appreciate you so much. We're gonna put this back in the box and put it back inside the trunk. So we're gonna get this put on maybe the next video. Not this video, but maybe the next video we're gonna get this installed. If I can freaking close this. There we go. We're gonna put this back in the trunk when he get done. But as y'all see, he is starting to get it on there adjusted. Jeez, but I'm gonna tap back in with y'all in one second. We're gonna let him do what he gotta do, and uh, I'm gonna see y'all when we get that one done. We might roll a little bit of B roll footage, we'll see how I'm feeling because I ain't good with the cinematics. I'll be trying last video, it, it might have been nice. I didn't go look back at it after I published the video, but we'll just see. But if not, it is what it is. So I'm gonna see y'all in one second. can see this one is uh done it didn't actually take a long time so that's on there and this is the darkest tint he had and that looked way better so i just told y'all i wasn't gonna wash the car but now i feel like i gotta wash the car how soon can i wash it right after. okay cool cool so i think we're gonna head to the car wash 
because why not? I didn't notice. Oh yeah. So he didn't only do the outside, he did like do the inside quarter piece. I gotta wash the car now. They do look way better, man. That's fire. I appreciate you a lot, man. So y'all, we are gonna head out to Pack a Punch Performance Shop. So my boy Loudy. Our boy is such a goat, y'all. So, man, I think we're gonna wash the car either today or in a couple days because I don't think I'm gonna record anything till a couple more days. I got another video with uh, somebody I'm gonna do. I ain't gonna say too much, but if you see the thumbnail and the title, that's enough. Whoa, 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 come on, Big Dirty. But, anyways, we are gonna. I gotta do a few errands. I don't know if I'm gonna take y'all with me, but. Um, I don't know. We we'll see y'all. If not, y'all gonna see we on a whole new day. Your boy had to get gas, and not even, not only that we need need the gas, but guess what? Guess what? We need the oil change. Cause that is at oh, can y'all see? Ninety-one thousand miles. We at ninety thousand miles now. So we have like less than a thousand miles until we get an oil change. So we gonna be getting that very very soon one week later so y'all probably like ebay you back at lobby house i am definitely at lobby house again so last time we came here which is like two or three days ago i came and got the tail lights tenant now i'm gonna show y'all the tail lights one more time the car is still dirty so we're gonna wash it after this for sure but i didn't really have nothing to do for a video so we are getting them put on right now so right now the car is up on the ramp He's already up under there. That's the basic clear ones now. They have light bulbs, but they won't work because I don't have the wiring hardest. If I can pull this out, that's why. So, this basic clear ones, cause like I showed y'all, this is all foggy and messed up. And uh, that one is too. So, I believe it's like condensation condensation and water buildup that it make it fog. So supporter had gave me those um, fog lights when he seen me out. Cause he was telling me like, I needed new ones and he actually kept a spare in his car. Cause I guess they sent them an extra set or something like that. So those are gonna get put in. Right. So y'all, I had to drive it up the ramp and definitely almost went over. Y'all see how that's off the ground. So yeah, when I pulled in here, I'm like, it ain't no way he want me to come up here. Cause I definitely didn't want to do it. Wait, so it's screws holding in from the from this side too? Yeah, there's two on the back one. Wow, look how old that one look. You see how foggy that one is compared to the new one? Yeah. That look way better. So we're gonna just Oh, oh <laughs> yo from the from the look I was at, it looked like the damn vinyl came off of the angry eyes. Oh. I ain't you see I was gonna say what? Alright y'all, so the supporter that gave me these um fog lights had an SRTA, so my boy Lada just told me the headlights itself will work, but we gotta use the older bracket that came off mine because the five, seven, and six, one different uh, style bumpers. So I guess it's different style it brackets. Good. They work so, though, the, the bracket fits. Yeah, okay, yeah, that definitely looks better than that one right there. Way better. Yeah, I just gotta screw it up. Okay, okay, boom. So after we leave here, we gotta wash this car because it is like very, very 50. I said 50. Very, very 50. All right, so basically, can you say that again? We have to plastic weld this in because it's obviously the light is too small for the bracket. So mm -hmm. we're gonna poke it through and then melt this into here so it stays. Okay, smooth, smooth. What's going on? So I don't know how good you guys can hear me because of the car wash with the water pressure, but we do have good news. Concerning our brand, it ain't gonna be brand new, but concerning our new car, uh, your boy looked a little chopped, but don't need you trip, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, god damn. But, um, I'm gonna show you how the tail lights and the fog lights. I'm show you how they look when the car is clean later that day. All right, y'all, so I hope this video doesn't seem like I've been jumping around back and forth, but. This video has been a little bit chaotic, man. I apologize for that. I hope the video flows really good. I'm going to try to do my best with the whole editing aspect. I look so chopped. God. All right, y'all. So, boom. Now, the car is completely clean. Glass house production. You know what I'm saying? Look at the look at the black tenant tail lights. Those are looking so crazy. So, if you guys have been living under a rock, 
the guy who does anything to my car, anything, I'm telling you, diffuser, wicker bill, spoiler, window spoiler, chrome delete, he is the GOAT. Like, he, I ain't gonna lie, like, like, I, 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 I ain't like way wrong or nothing like that, but my guy is definitely go. So I'm gonna leave his Instagram on the screen. If you need anything done as far as customization, anything, 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 he can get you right. So um, another thing we have did was added fog lights. Now these fog lights, like I said earlier, are from an SRT8, which means they are a little different. I didn't know that. I didn't buy them. A subscriber gave it to me. So shout out to you, bro. If you're watching my channel still, I had these for so long, I just forgot to put them in. So if y'all see, they are in there, but you can just see it's like a little gap between. So we had to do a little bit of, you know, uh, plastic welding, which y'all seen, and um, customization to make it fit. So they don't fit all the way inside of the hose, but they do look good and we can't get away with it. So, so we have those in there. That is gonna make the front of the car look way, way better. So even on camera, it looks way, way smoother, y'all. So as this camera battery literally dies, I have to go change the battery, so give me one second. So yeah, the front of the car looks way more, um, just cleaner with the freaking new fog lights. Y'all seen they was all like foggy and clouded. Y'all was definitely telling me to get new fog lights. Also, I had so many people in my comments for so freaking long telling me I need to get new tail lights or tinted tail lights. I'm gonna try to pop some up on the screen so just to show y'all I ain't capping. So many people was telling me new tail lights, eBay 10 them. Man, I was gonna get to them, but my boy Lottie just hit me up and said, Come on, let's just do them. So he kind of just put the rush on it. Not saying I wasn't ready to do it, but we got it done. And it looks so, so good, man. Because, sheesh, that looks crazy. So I'm going to put a before. I don't even have a before. I might have a before and after picture for y'all to see. So the whole back of the car is pretty much complete. So check this out. I'm going to break this down for y'all. SRT spoiler. Wicker bill, diffuser. A lot of people don't got that. You know what I'm saying? It's one on one custom just for me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't tooting my own horn, but I might got the best one custom just because, you know, who I am, you know? Can't have nothing anybody else got. The tail lights, tenant, perfect, man. So just because of the fact we are in our last days of having this car is the reason why I am putting so many mods out. Now, we have two major mods. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all the one major one. So actually, both of these mods has to do with something with the wheels. If y'all see that, my friend, this car is definitely a monster truck. So look at this. I can literally stick my whole hand up under there. So guess what, we are gonna get rid of that very very soon so i had got um sent out some um racing lowering springs and shocks so they are complete coilovers they are adjustable even the back ride height is just so it's about the same about the same with whole hand so just imagine how the car will look drop down maybe an inch or two at least so I ain't gonna be like a ricer slam to the ground, but we are gonna get rid of the wheel gap in the front and in the back. So that indeed will be the last mod we are probably gonna do. The biggest mod we have probably ever freaking done, y'all. So just picture it just lower. Like I already know that's gonna be crazy because Mopar just sits like a damn monster truck like the wheel space now it's a little bit worse inside the back because i have a different size tire from the uh, i'm sorry it is a little worse inside the front than the back because i have a smaller tire i think this is a 245 and that is a 275 so the tire size are a little different so there's more gap in the front than in the back Besides that, I think I want to go with black rims. Now, I'm not going to spend wasteless money 
I'm not gonna say wasteless, but I'm not gonna spend useless money on buying rims because they're gonna to cost too much and it just won't be worth it. So instead of buying new rims, we are just gonna paint these rims black. I'm probably gonna just go with matte black. Now these are the last two mods we will be doing, unless it's like something like very, very small, but this is gonna be it, y'all. And um, this car has been through so much and so great of a journey. Just time to close this chapter. And I wasn't going to even lower the car. But I'm like, man, I will feel like the car is so incomplete without lowering it. So we're going to send it off the right way, man. Also, one more thing. I have good news. I have talked to my bank yesterday for about an hour and a half. Just because I have never had a car loan. Any car I have ever had was uh, bought and paid for. So I just wanted to um, reach out to them about like check stuff. I ain't rich. I got to get a car loan. You know what I'm saying? So... I had to reach out to them about like the check stub process how long do i have to get a car within the um time frame we run my credit it is everything like interest rates everything like that so i actually know the whole rundown of everything i need to do now they basically told me uh run my credit get approved or not which i gotta get approved because i got no choice and then they told me just basically they're gonna give me a check and everything like that and take it to the dealership i said whoa 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 dealership i'm not going to get a forty thousand dollar car like what you think i'm going to get a scat pack no i'm going to get a 20 25 dollar car and most likely it won't be from the dealership it's probably gonna be off a third party and i do not really want a car from the trip mission again because let's be honest these cars have been beat the shit. So I would like if I would be able to fly out somewhere and drive the car back. Just cause that would make a good video. Just picture me flying, going out there, meeting a the buyer, and driving it back. Or it could turn for worse and I could waste money on the plane trip and it could be a shit box. So goes either way. We do have a lot to think about. We are definitely gonna stay in the Mopar family. So I don't know if I want a charger or 300 so you guys let me know what you think is going to fit me i already had the 300 so let me know if i should get a charger or a 300 srt either one is pretty good for me i think i'm gonna like the charger so i might be coming charger srt most likely it'd be a charger but if i find a 300 srt8 we're gonna go so this wallpaper has been keeping me motivated to just come out every freaking day and get footage for y'all for content so look at that are you working hard enough so i get up out of my bed look at my phone and i see that so from the time my feet hit the floor in the morning i just try to find something productive to do because we can't be wasting time i don't think i got anything else to say this video is over my name is ebay shot it let's try to get 60 likes on this video so please like comment and subscribe i'm going to be in the comments interacting with everybody that says something and um once again thank y'all let's get 60 likes leave a like leave a comment my name is ebay shot it i'm out we're gonna get out of here hey, yo, Pluto. You going crazy. damn y'all clicked on the video already subscribe hey, that shit right. y'all from this plan y'all i ain't into the cap and let's keep it real he could have held this man down he took a deal that's why I can't show nobody how we live I got the news from my sister, gave me chills Gang off y'all pills, fucking up parties, it's just a thrill He popped his hands and I don't